School district police would be able to ask a student if he or she is in the country illegally under the Sanctuary City Bill in the Texas House. It would give school district cops that authority only if a student broke the law. Joining us live to talk more about this, the president of the Texas Association of School Board Police, Jeff Ward, and the executive director for the Center for Immigration Studies, Mark Krikorian. Mark Krikorian, do you think this is a good idea? Well, I mean, there's two issues here. One is, should the police, school district police, be able to ask about immigration? And the other one is, you know, when would that be a good idea to do? I think there's just no question that they should have that authority. But if I were running a school district police department, I would use it very sparingly, only when you're talking about some kind of serious gang problem in a high school, that kind of thing. So it's an important tool, I think, but it's one that probably is best used with discretion. Jeff Ward, should police and public schools be serving as immigration agents? No, no, I don't think we should at all. Our duty is to uh, provide safety and security for the students. I think Mark brings up one good point, though. If there's a um, possibility of a high school student maybe being involved with transnational gangs like MS-13 or something like that, it may be appropriate there. But for the standard everyday fare and things that go on in schools uh, on a daily basis, I really don't see us having much of a role in that. Mark, I'm wondering, you know, the Supreme Court has said that uh, we have to educate illegal alien children. Uh, does this uh, law fly in the face of that ruling? No, it doesn't. First of all, the ruling says until Congress decides otherwise, states have to educate um, illegal alien kids. Not the kids of illegal aliens, but kids who are themselves illegal aliens. So Congress can change the law. It's just that the states can't do it on their own. This doesn't contradict that in any way because there's nothing that prohibits school districts from asking legal status. They just can't turn people away, turn kids away if they're illegal immigrants. And I think your other guest is right. It's a tool that can be useful in very limited instances. And it seems to me the legislature is making the right move, extending the authority, but leaving the discretion up to the local departments. Jeff Ward, teachers are being fired right and left across this state. Is this putting too much of a weight on school police? Well, I think uh, the superintendent uh, uh, of one of the school districts over here in San Antonio probably said it best that uh, school district police are going to have to really step up their game and have their head on a swivel, uh, swivel because there will be less people available to supervise children. Thank you so much to both of you. President of the Texas Association of School Board Police there, Jeff Ward, and the Executive Director for the Center for Immigration Studies, Mark Krikorian.